Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up TinyMCE's CRM starter config with TinyMCE self hosted loading premium plugins from the cloud. Now, you might be wondering, why would I self host TinyMCE and load premium plugins from the cloud? Well, maybe you already have an app that's using TinyMCE self hosted, and rather than migrate everything to the cloud, you just want to load the premium plugins. Now, what we're looking at here is a local development environment on my computer. I have the editor on the left and my browser on the right. So the first thing to do is get TinyMCE inside your project directory. There's a couple ways to do this. We're going to grab the zip file off of our website. You can also install TinyMCE using NPM, Yarn, Composer, or Nougat, or use one of our framework integrations with React, Angular, Vue, and others. So to get the zip file, head over to tiny.cloud slash get dash tiny and click the blue download tiny MCE SDK button. Extract the zip file and copy the tiny MCE folder into your project's JavaScript directory. Now go back to our website and click on solutions and then customer relationship management. Now scroll down past the demo to the starter config. You'll see it's available without code tips and with code tips. If you're new to TinyMCE, we recommend the version with code tips because it shows you exactly what each configuration option is doing so you can learn. We'll copy the starter config over to our editor. And we're going to scroll up to the top. By default, the starter config loads TinyMCE from the cloud, but we want to load it from our local JS directory. So replace the cloud URL for the JavaScript file with tinymce.min.js in your local file system. Save the file and load it up in your browser. OK, so we're about halfway there now. We have the CRM starter config set up locally and loading TinyMCE self-hosted. But we still need to load the premium plugins in the starter config from the cloud. We have a really helpful docs article that I'll share the link to in the description that shows you exactly how to do this. But for now, we're going to copy this little script tag and paste it under where we included TinyMCE. This is what loads the plugins from the cloud. Now we need to replace this no API key with our API key from our account screen. So copy your API key and paste it in there. Save the file and reload your browser. Great. Now the TinyMCE CRM starter config is all loaded up. You're loading TinyMCE self-hosted and the premium plugins from the cloud. Now you can put it into your app, play with the configuration, and customize it specifically to your CRM use case. If you don't have a TinyMCE API key, you can head over to our pricing page and sign up for a free 14-day trial to try out all the premium features included in the starter config. The 14-day trial also comes with access to our support team, which can help you get started if you get stuck. So what's next? You're going to want to learn how to get and set content from the editor. I've included a link in the description for you to check that out. If you're looking for more useful content about rich text editing in CRMs, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel or head over to our blog for more information. Good luck!